class we going to see gas turbine power plant this gas turbine power plant has been used for electricity generation in the periods of peak electricity demand gas turbines can be started and stopped quickly enabling them to be brought into service as required to meet energy demand peaks the small unit sizes and their lower thermal efficiency restricted the opportunities for their wider use for electricity generation so this gas turbine power plant consists of three important components air compressor turbine and combustor so what is the purpose of combustor the other name of combustor is combustion chamber initially what happens the air get inside the air compressor and that compressor going to compress the air and then it goes to the combustor the compressed air goes to the combustor parallelly what happen in the combustor is the fuel has been sent to the combustor and the combustion takes place see the other name of gas turbine engine is to be air breathing engines the stoichiometric air fuel ratio is 100 is to 1 that is 100 parts of air and one part of fuel after the combustion chamber what happen the the burnt gases or can say the hot gases goes to the turbine now it going to rotate the turbine blades the turbine going to rotate at very high speed and going to rotate the output shaft now what happen it going to rotate the generator so we going to get the power next breakdown cycle you can see this gas turbine power plant follows the breakdown cycle breakdown cycle consists of two constant pressure process and two isentropic process now i said no already the gas turbine power plant consists of three major components compressor combustor and turbine see the diagram number 1 is a fresh air inside the compressor the compressor compresses the air now it goes to the combustion chamber and then parallelly the fuel has been sprayed inside the combustion chamber the the hot gases coming outside that is number 3 and then it enters to the turbine now what happen the turbine going to rotate so what happen the tur whenever the turbine rotates it going to rotate the generator very good now what happen it going to give the power the exhaust gases goes to the egg atmosphere now we going to see the breton cycle this breton cycle consists of adiabatic process and isobaric process that is two adiabatic process and two isobaric process see the position 1 to 2 is to be adiabatic process compression the process 2 to 3 is to be isobaric process heat addition the process 3 to 4 is to be the adiabatic process expansion the process 4 to 1 is to be isobaric isobaric process heat rejection now this is the schematic arrangement of a simple gas turbine power plant see again what are the major components in this gas turbine power plant i already said compressor combustion chamber gas turbine see the air from the atmosphere enters to the compressor by means of this filter so filter going to filter the dust particles from the air and just passes the air inside the compressor 
Next, from the compressor, the air enters to the combustion chamber. Parallelly, the oil, that is fuel, is sprayed to the combustion chamber. So, we are getting the combustion. Now, what is the output of the combustion chamber? That is the burnt gases or you can say the hot gas. The hot gas enters to the gas turbine. Now, what happens? The turbine is going to rotate. Whenever the turbine is going to rotate, it is going to rotate the shaft of the alternator. What is the alternator? Generator. From the generator, we are going to get the power. Now, what happens to the exhaust gases? It goes to the atmosphere. Now, we are going to see the gas turbine with intercooling, reheat, regenerative gas turbine. That is, we are going to increase the efficiency of the gas turbine. See, this is a schematic diagram for this intercooling, reheat, regenerative arrangement of gas turbine. And see, see here, two set of compressors is there. Similarly, two set of turbine is there. Now, in between the compressors, intercooler is there. In between the compressor and turbine, there is a combustion chamber is there. Again, in between the turbine to turbine, another reheater is there. And then, the output of the second turbine enters to the regenerator. Okay, I am going to explain this one by one. See, initially what happens is, the air from the atmosphere passes to the compressor. So, this compressor is said to be LPC, that is low pressure compressor. Now, what happened? The compressor com compresses the gas and then compresses the air and then it passes to the intercooler. Why the intercooler is important? The intercooler going to reduce the temperature not the pressure and then it, the air that is come from the intercooler goes inside the compressor to that is said to be HPC high pressure compressor what happened the pressure increases still the pressure of the air increases similarly the temperature also increases now it directly goes to the part called regenerator See the other side of the regenerator what happened? The exhaust gases from the turbine to or you can say that LPT low pressure turbine goes to the regenerator. See the one side the low medium of air is going, the other side the high temperature, high medium of burnt gases goes to the regenerator. So what happened? Obviously the heat exchange going to happen in between the regenerator. So the we all know that always heat has a tendency to travel from higher medium to the lower medium so the hot gas from the hot gas the temperature going to come over the air why because it's air has less temperature when compared to the uh, exhaust gases okay now the heat has been added to the yes compressor that is an air compressor uh, output of the air compressor now what happened it going to gain the heat and then from the regenerator it enters to the combustion chamber which one the hot compressed air now what happened in the combustion chamber i already said that fuel will be passed parallelly in the combustion chamber so what happened the combustion takes place the combustion takes place the combustion what happened it going to increase the temperature of the burnt gases okay the combustion after the combustion what happened the temperature drastically increases so it becomes burnt gas or you can say the hot gas now that hot gas passes to the turbine one turbine one this turbine one is said to be high pressure turbine what is that hpt high pressure turbine now from the high pressure turbine the burnt what happened is going to expand in the what is happening inside the turbine one that is high pressure turbine the gas going to expand and going to rotate the blades of the turbine one so what happened it going to rotate the shaft now from the output of the turbine one 
it goes to the reheater what is reheater reheater is nothing but similar to the combustion chamber so to be what reheater that is the uh, burnt gases is coming from the turbine one that is hpt what happened after expansion it, it loses its temperatures or you can say it loses its temperatures now it goes to the reheater now what happened the heat has been added there the heat has been added now what happened heat has been added okay the heat has been added now it goes to the turbine 2 what is turbine 2 lpt that is low pressure turbine so now what happened in the low pressure turbine is again the gas get expanded the gas is expanded now what happened again going to rotate the shaft of the alternator now what happened from the alternator we going to get the power now parallelly what happens is from the exit of the lpt low pressure turbine what happened this hot gases passes through the regenerator hot gases passes through the regenerator now again what is the purpose of regenerator it acts as the heat exchanger that is it going to exchange the heat to the compressed air which is coming out from the hpt hpc 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 that is high pressure compressor so this is the schematic uh, diagram of this uh, gas turbine with intercooling reheat and regenerative system clear see this is the another schematic diagram of open cycle gas turbine power plant i already explained what is happened there in the uh, gas turbine with uh, intercooling reheat and regenerative system now we're going to see the another uh, schematic diagram see how the power plant works now so the gas turbine power plant is defined as in which the principle of the prime mover is of the turbine type and the working medium is a permanent gas a simple gas turbine plant consists of turbine compressor and combustor what is combustor combustion chamber and auxiliary devices like starting device lubricating pump fuel pump oil system and duct system and rotary and multi stage type the working fluid is compressed in a compressor which is generally the heat is added to the compressed fluid in the combustion chamber this high energy fluid at high temperature and pressure then expands in the turbine thereby generating power part of the energy generator is consumed in driving the compressor and accessories and the rest is utilized in electrical energy advantages of gas turbine power plants over diesel plants the work developed per kg of air is more than diesel plant less vibrations due to perfect balancing and no reciprocating parts less space requirements capital cost is less higher mechanical efficiency running speed of the turbine is large lower installation and maintenance cost the torque characteristics of turbine blades are better than diesel plant ignition and lubrication systems are simple specific fuel consumption does not increase with time in gas turbine plant as rapidly in diesel in plants poor quality fuel can be used lightweight with reference to weight 
weight to power ratio is less for gas turbine power plants so poor quality fuel means what the fuel which has less calorific value also can be used and smokeless combustion is achieved in gas power plants now we are going to see the disadvantages of gas turbine power plants over diesel plants so poor part load efficiency special metals and alloys are required for different components special cooling methods required for cooling of turbine blades short life the thermal efficiency is low wide operating speeds the fuel control is difficult uh, needs to have speed reduction devices for higher operating speeds of turbine difficult to start a gas turbine compared to diesel engine the manufacturing of blades is difficult and costly same output gas turbine produces the five times the exhaust gases than ic engines why why we are getting this much exhaust gases why since i already said in the thing the gas turbine engine is supposed to be what air breathing engines so what is the stoichiometric air fuel ratio it is 100 is to 1 that is 100 past part of air and one part of fuel what is the stoichiometric air fuel ratio of diesel engine or you can say ic engine 14.5 is to 1 that is 14.5 parts of air and one part of fuel so there only it, the five times of the exhaust gas than ic engines thank you